Hello and welcome. I'll be modeling barbecue stuff. So let's start modeling. Uh, I'll start with the container. Uh, so I'll draw create a sphere. I'll go to my create tab and create a sphere. And let's say I'll go to my modify panel and make this to 30. Scroll down. This build is on, and I can hemisphere this. I can chop off, let's say 0.5, half of it, and I can rotate this upside down. Hit E on your keyboard and rotate. Yep, like that. Bring this up, like that. And I can convert this to editable poly. Alright, now I can go to my vortex selection mode and I'll remove this vortex and select this and hit backspace on my keyboards. So I get much cleaner surface there. So I can go to my polygon mode, click on this to select, make sure only this is selected and I can scroll down click on this inset setting button let's say I'm just creating a border and something let's create the border first more like that and click OK and now I can extrude this inwards inwards something like that um, that's okay. We'll fix that. Click OK. And now I can hit R and scale this. Um, make sure it's not overlapping. Okay. Maybe just a little bit. No. Just okay. Now, what I want to do is make this. With I'll go to my edge selection mode. I'm gonna make this surface a little bit thicker, so I can select this edge and click on this ring button that will select all of the edges. And I can hold control on my keyboard and click this polygon button that will convert selection to polygon and now I can extrude well that's going in the wrong direction I can right click to make it zero and then raise it up just a little bit mm. and I can click OK now I can kind of move this back so I can scale this outwards something like that yeah maybe I just wanna okay so now it's time to create the grill I need to adjust this okay I think I need to adjust the shape of it so what I can do is I can go to modifiers and apply free form deformers deformers 3x3x3 three by three by three. so it's added to my stack and go to my control points uh, no I think I'll delete this one Instead, I'll add 4x4x4. Four by four by four. Okay, now I'll go to my control points and maybe I can switch to some side view, front or whatever. Select these two rows at the bottom and scale. Scale 
this outwards just a little bit and maybe I can select these two rows and move them up just like that okay well, maybe you can adjust according to your liking and we are done with this maybe you want to come back and tweak this a little bit alright now to create the grill um, actually I'm gonna draw out a plane okay I'll switch to my top view Roll the plane so that it just covers my container, something like that. Don't worry about these diagonal edges. Now I can crank this up to let's say 15. Mm, that's okay that's okay with me now if I go to my perspective view and move this up if I convert this to editable poly okay so now those edges are gone now what I want is to kinda cut out the circular shape the same shape that this is in so the way I can do is select this container okay that's cool I can go back to my edible poly go to my edge selection mode and select this edge and I'll make a loop selection so I can create the loop button so that will select all and loop and now I can extract this shape and you can scroll down and click on this button that says create shape from the selection give the name select linear and click OK that's OK and now I'll select my shape and bring this up OK so now I'm going to use this shape to project the shape onto this plane. Okay. Now, the way it works, I tried, is instead of projecting from top to bottom, this works the other way. Means it will project from bottom to top. Uh, let me just do it and uh, you'll understand. What I can do is move this up and rotate this so that this face is facing my shape.